Just stay over there so you're in All shot right. there. Oh, can you see yourself on there? Yes. Yeah. Alright, try and stay in shot. Oh, what do I just stay at? Right up and down on the spot if you want. <laughs> just run up and down. That's it. Who got it? Are we, are we going to keep this fighting? This is a daily exercise, isn't it? Do a few stretches. Um, what did I come in here for? Oh yeah. Do a stretch. Oh. What, what, what else am I supposed to do? Well, look, if, if I'm going to look like a famous fashion photographer, I need sunglasses on, uh, don't I? Even though it's not so sunny at all, we're completely in the shadow. It is sunny <laughs> over there. <laughs> Yes, over there. <laughs> over there, it's sunny. I I'm sorry, but I don't see the sun. It's going to be it's able to get... I can see the sun, it's beaming right over there. It's, it's lighting up the whole of the valley. Yeah, but I don't think... I don't think Look. it's really going to be that bright. What? Hey, seriously. Seriously. Come on, Johnny. Do I still need to stay in control of this thing? If you can, yeah. Wow, that's going to be a challenge, isn't it? Uh, well, what I'm doing here, mm. for, all the, for all the photography technical people out there, is I'm setting up my settings. Setting up settings, eh? Oh, nice people in the background. That is unfortunate. Perfection. Right, so. So first thing I'm going to do, right, yeah. just to prove you wrong. Prove me so that wrong. our viewers know that you're completely wrong. Oh, that's not going to work, so it's not in colour. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, there we go. See, I've proved once again that I am superior. What? Well. I always, I always take the better pictures. Yeah, and I noticed that. And completely by accident. Look, don't get you cutting your head off. Oh, look. what? What do you mean completely? But don't tell them it was by accident. Oh, um. Because you're a professional. Yeah, yeah. How can it be by accident? It, you're a professional. Oh yeah. Um, it, it was. It was all planned, wasn't it? Yeah, it was completely intentional. It was, it was an artistic decision, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you saw that shot in that reflection, and you thought, "Bang, I'm there." Yeah, you got you got the mind of the likes of I don't know, David Bailey. Yeah. David Bailey. You don't even know who that is, do you? Well, I do after you showed me like ten of his photos. Right. So now what I'm going to do, you see? Yeah. And I'm going to film the valley, right, so that people can see that it is actually sunny. <laughs> the valley is, but not here. What? You can't even see the Look sun. The sun. The you, you don't it's even beautiful. need sunglasses. Like, it's literally dark. Oh, come on. Why would you want to bring life? Seriously. Because you were a mine. Right, so, so what, what, tell, tell the viewers. First of all, this is Fonteroy. Uh, yeah. Well, you said that, so I guess I should introduce you. You could do. That might be helpful. Just Big in case anybody's watching that doesn't know who we are. Nick Bang Gavin. Who? Nick Bang Gavin. Oh, you've changed it now? Uh, just for this episode. Just for this episode? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what we're going to do is, you've decided that you want to try and hand, uh, hand on. You've got all blue crap in your, sorry, crap in your hair, look. How can you be a fashion model? I, I so you decided you want to try your hand at being a male model, don't you? Um, and you're going to model the latest in head and facial protection wear. Yeah, I suppose so. It's not protection against anything. What we're uh. about to show you will protect you from nothing apart from possibly aliens and the rings around Saturn. Yeah. Yeah. So basically for astronauts. It's astronaut wear, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so well, first of all I'm gonna take a couple of shots of you just just standing there looking kind of cool. Cool. Yeah. 
So if you could try and look a little bit like, I don't know, Tom Hardy or something like that. What with the ride. constantly annoyed expression? What? With the constantly annoyed, annoyed expression. What are you talking about? That's what Tom Hardy does. Does he? He always looks annoyed. Does he? Yeah, you look quite annoyed there, actually, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, you did look a little bit annoyed, actually. That's, that's, that's quite good. I like that. I like that. Annoyed it is, then. Let's go for a night, shall we? How oh, many did you take? Let me have a look closer in, like that. Yeah, you look like you just have fallen asleep there. Now you don't look like you're falling asleep. It's Why are you squinting your eyes? Because the sun's in my eyes. Do you, want, do you want your sunglasses? The sun? What? You mean the sun that you said doesn't exist? No. <laughs> it's just brighter. It's brighter where? I don't know. I'm just so but used. Where is it bright? It's because I'm used to being in the dark. <laughs> you're a vampire. Yeah. Nosferatu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It might help if you don't look at the camera, so maybe look off somewhere as if you're staring at something or deep in thought or something like that. What like this? No, I ain't gone. Yeah, like that. That's it. Right. What do they look like then? What do they look like? Photographs yeah. of you. What do you think they look like? I want to see them. You can see them when we put them on the big screen. Right. So, shall we now try and model some of your ingenious uh, protective astronaut wear? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, well I'm going to get the first item of astronaut wear then. Alright. Okay. Alright. So. Yeah. Oh, like that. There we go. Now pull the drawstring tight. You hold the top bit, and I'll pull the drawstring. So have you got have you got this bit, the glass? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're going to suffocate no. me. What? I think you're going to suffocate me. Oh, don't be silly. Anybody think you need air and stuff to breathe? Wow. That's you don't really need none of that air nonsense, do you? No. Huh? There we go. Look at that. Yeah. That is genius. So, so if you're travelling off to the moon or yeah, you know, or Saturn's ring. Oh yeah. God, my nose is getting so squished. I thought uh, I look well, like I'm going to take a full length shot of you, so we can see how perfectly the hoodie fits you. Yeah. Perfect size. Yeah, perfect. So I think that's a roaring success, don't you? I can't see you. You don't need to see, you're going to be in the in space, it's dark. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you need to see for? You don't need to see, it's do you, if you're in up space? In what? Steaming up in here. Tell it to Neil Armstrong. What, what do you think his mask was like when he was on the moon? Freezing up there, you know, imagine all the condensation. Oh. Must have been terrible. Oh no, it's slipping. <laughs> It slipped. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the second um, item of protective headwear that we're going to try is. <laughs> a pan. Ah. What do you think? Do you think it'll work? Well, the only thing I'm worried about is the people behind us. I don't care about the I people. I think they're going to be but worried. Move that way, because look, that camera. It did, Oh, it's not a camera, it's a phone. Yeah.
I think they're going to be worried about our mental health. They might be, but I think when they see this, Ooh. look at that. It's going to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'd be better off that way, like that. Oh, yes. What do you think? That's, this is what they do in Africa, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's just the way up with water. Oh. <laughs> that looks brilliant. Yeah. And that could protect. That would protect you from all sorts of things, wouldn't it? Anything? Yeah. Yeah. I can spin on my head. Yeah, that's amazing. I think that could be the new fashion accessory, don't you? Yeah. For like stylish space travellers. Oh. Don't you think? Yeah. Big. What Couldn't is, you have just it? said round? What did you have to say big? This is absolutely massive. What is? Your head. It's not as big as you. Look at that. Now, if you, you got it the wrong way around for a start, look. Oh, is that you want the label, Do you want the label at the back? Well, what's the what's the fashion with it? Well, because you see this designer headwear, yeah. right? It's got fa it's a famous brand, look. What? Villeda. It's not Villeda. Move out the camera. Super Mocio. It's not a Villeda, it's a Vileda. <laughs> Villeda. Think you that How are I supposed to know? Can't you read? Well, that's how it sounded out. <laughs> so, what, so what does that say then? Pot were? Or power? Power, but that's just the English language, isn't it? Stupid. Okay, right. So, do you want the label at the front? Or the back? What, what's more fashionable? I could have it at the side. That's what they do with caps, isn't it? Yeah, but then it won't fit on your head, will it? Look, it's oblong. Same shape as your head. Oh. <laughs> wow. Stop standing in front of me, camera! Yeah. So it's got to go that way or that way. What do you want? Do you want... It's got a label at the front as well, though. Oh, I think that would look better, really. Oh, at the front? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, there you go. Do you want do you want the chin strap at the front? You're gonna need the chin strap at the front, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. See? There we go. Now I reckon this particular piece of headgear could protect you from all sorts of disasters, couldn't it? Uh yeah. Don't you think so? I don't know where you are. What? Fantastic. Oh. Fashion shots are gonna go viral, I think. Don't you? Oh, <laughs> you got it around your neck oh. now, you idiot. <laughs> oh. So, you want me to try this one? Up? Yeah. Okay, are you gonna take pictures of me? Yeah. Wearing it? Yeah. Okay. I think they're gonna be even more concerned about you doing it. There you go. Don't drop the camera. In fact, pull that over your neck just in case. What? I don't care. Right, so which way do you think I should put it on? I think um, I should have the pointy bit yeah. at the front. Yeah, like a... So if I was to say go to... Where, where do you think this would be best? For like, somewhere like Mars or something like that? Uh, I reckon maybe... It's quite windy there apparently, isn't it? Yeah. Or maybe... um. Or maybe Jupiter. Jupiter's gas. You can't go. To, you, can't, you can't go somewhere that's gas. It's got to be rock. What are you going to stand on if it's just gas? Venus then. Oh. Has Venus got rock on it? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm going to search it up. I don't know the solar system. I don't know the solar system. I'm going to search it up. Yeah, then. Venus is the second planet from the sun. Is it? What's this one then? I'll put this on then, you take some pictures, yeah, you ready? You look absolutely incredible. I know, I feel it. Huh? There is a problem with it though. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Oh no, it's gone off. <laughs> so, that's it, we're done.
another fantastic video. Yeah, this, this one has definitely been the worst so far. <laughs> Do you think so? Yeah. <laughs> In what way? It's just not funny, is it? It's not funny? Yeah. Well, it's not meant to be funny, it's serious. It's, it, it, it's, it's serious consumer, um, you know, product photography and consumerism and all sorts of stuff. Consuming it. Consuming it. Consumerism. Consumer analyzational. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. See, it's for anybody that's a, a, um, an intrepid space traveller, right, yeah. that needs good uh, head or face protection. We've demonstrated with just household objects. Should we? What they could use. Should we give them um, a uh, don't try this at home warning? Yeah. Don't try this at home. It's really boring. It's uh, <laughs> it will it numbs your your brain and it it lowers your IQ. Yes, it does. Especially when you put the bucket on your head. Yeah. That completely lowers your IQ. Yeah. So that's it, we're done then, aren't we? Yeah. Right, well, thank you all for tuning in and watching us again. Um, if there's anybody left that's still actually watching. Wow. Well, uh, probably not. Probably not. Uh, yeah, probably not. Mm. Do, you think maybe, do you think maybe we've actually induced people to harm themselves? What? How? Well, if I sat and watched this, I'd, I'd probably shoot myself. Hmm. Well, that's not our fault, is it? No. No, they just have to take responsibility from themselves, aren't they? Well, yeah. Right. What we do is not a, a, a cause of your actions. What we do is <laughs> what? Not a cause of your actions. What are you jibbering on about? I don't know. Basically, <laughs> just... It doesn't matter how to get on with you, so you still what? just don't do bad things. I thought I thought you wanted me to photograph you using the skipping rope yes. thing. Go on in. Do that then. Where is it? No, don't use that one. Use the one that I've already taken off. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, what Can is I use it? the smaller one? What? Can I use the smaller one? It'll be easier, I think. Oh, yeah. Right. So... <laughs> what? It comes down faster this one. Let me try the other one. Hang on. Hang on. This one is really better. Oh no! My jump's worthy. Do it no more. Alright, we're it. done. Let's, 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 let's call it the day there, shall we? Yeah. So the video is over. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you for coming in. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Done.